Hey guys, what's up? This is Chrissy with Everyday Tidbits. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. You can also follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I post cooking and stuff like that, and just little tidbits to let you know what I'm up to. And I would love for you to be a part of my Instagram family as well. Today's gonna be a quickie, a little bit of a bonus video, if you will. We went to Costco. Our intent was to pick up one or two things that we needed, but you know how it is. When you get to Costco, Costco tells you what you need. So we started out our morning by going to the car dealership to get an oil change. It was supposed to take an hour. It took over two hours while I was there. I was dealing with some frustrating things on Facebook. Um, sometimes I think Facebook is more of a headache than entertainment at times, but so it's been quite a stressful um, morning for us. <laughs> like I didn't expect to be sitting in the dealership for two hours, but it is what it is. So like I said, we went to Costco. Our intent was to pick up uh, a vitamin that I needed as well as my daughter was looking for sparkling water that she tried and liked. So. We went in to get that and then we wound up getting way more things. So I'm just gonna show you real quickly what we bought because we absolutely love Costco. Okay, so what we did go in for was this Kirkland brand sparkling water. There's three different flavors in here. Um, there's this, uh, this is kiwi strawberry. It's just sparkling zero calorie water and it's flavored. There's also, it looks like orange mango and black raspberry. So I did try a sip of my daughter's the last time she had it. It was pretty good. So we got this for her. Um, I also picked up, I never tried the Kirkland brand. This is um, Costco's brand um, fabric softener. So I got this huge one because I'm almost out of um, this fabric softener that I have now. So I figured I would try Kirkland's because I did try their laundry detergent once and it smells really good and I liked it. So we picked up those two big things. These two boxes over here is the rest of our stuff. Now, I needed Parmesan and I looked at the expiration date before I bought this big thing and I believe I'm going to use it all before March of 2021. So Parmesan, cheese, you can put this on anything. You can put it in pastina, you could put it on um, spaghetti, whatever. Everyone needs Parmesan in their house, so we got Parmesan. Then I go through coffee like crazy. I do love Bones coffee, but I keep this in my house as well because sometimes I just like a plain old non-flavored coffee. And I do think that chock full of nuts coffee with my coffee creamer is delightful. So this was on sale for $6.99 for a giant, huge uh, three pound can of coffee. I picked up a case of diced tomatoes because I plan on making some pasta azul in the next few days with my Parmesan and um, I have bacon in the fridge that has to be used up. Usually I make it with pancetta, but I do have a huge thing of bacon that I'd like to use up. So I'm gonna use bacon in that and I'm gonna cook some pasta azul. Um, I found some squeezed ginger. I've been looking all over for this. My store never has it. My shop right locally never has it. Walmart never has it. Nobody ever has it. Costco has it. So I grabbed it because ginger goes in a lot and it's annoying to buy like a big piece of ginger just for like a little bit in a recipe. So I bought the squeezy ginger and of course I checked the expiration date and it's good for like another year. So I was happy buying the big one. My daughter likes goldfish and I'm not gonna lie, so do I. So we picked up this giant box of goldfish for snacking. Um, we go through eggs a lot in this house. We make breakfast and I make hard boiled eggs to take to work. So we bought a case of two dozen eggs, which was I think for $3.49 for two dozen eggs. It was a pretty good deal. So we picked up some eggs. Okay, in the next box we got, I needed, I needed more allergy medicine. I thought I was in the clear um, as far as like the pollen and stuff like that. But even though there's no pollen, I'm still waking up in the morning with like a raspy throat, a little bit of phlegm, coughing. And of course, during these times, being that I'm a healthcare provider, people look at you like you have five heads when you're coughing. And it's allergies, man, it's allergies. So I usually get Zyrtec, but honestly, like the Zyrtec was like $35. And the Kirkland brand Aller Clear, this was $6.99 and you get 
365 tablets. It's not, this is loratadine, and I think the other one was like some other kind of teen, but they're all the same thing. They're antihistamines. This is a non-drowsy, so I figured I would try it. Like, you're supposed to take one a day, 365 tablets, like it's gonna last me for a year, it was only 6.99. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Kirkland brand, which is Costco's brand. Then I got, um, Last time we went to Costco, we got our vitamins, so we're good on our, on our normal vitamins that we take, but I do take a cranberry supplement every day, and the purpose of this cranberry supplement is for urinary tract health, obviously. Um, I am a paramedic, so there are times where we run and run and run and run and run all day, and getting to the bathroom to, <laughs> to go to pee is almost sometimes like hours you have to wait. So I did take, I do take cranberry every day for, um, to prevent UTIs. I've never had one, I'm 43 years old. I never plan on having one. That is my secret. Girls and boys, if you have issues, take a cranberry supplement. It works. All right, Italians, simmer down. I always make fresh homemade tomato sauce. However, in a pinch, if I'm starving and I don't know what else to eat, my pressure cooker, a jar of sauce, and some noodles on six minutes and I have dinner. Somebody told me that this brand, Rouse, Rails, I don't know how to say it, but somebody told me it's very good and to try it. So I figured I would try it. I picked it up. This was also on sale. I believe it was $7.99 for two huge, huge bottles. So simmer down if you're Italian and you're making fun of me for having jarred sauce, I usually don't, but I picked this up just to try it and I figured no harm in just trying it. Um, keeping it in the pantry as a backup for when nobody has time to sit there all day and simmer your, your sauce, because literally my sauce takes all day, okay? I also got these cranberry almond chicken salad individual portions. Um, there is eight of them in here. And I thought these were good to try. I've never tried them before, but they looked pretty good that I can throw them in my cooler for lunch with some crackers. Um, they show it with, uh, you know, there's nuts and celery and cranberry in it. So cranberry almond chicken salad. Um, I figured if you put some crackers in your bag and stuff like that, this is great as a light lunch because it's 5,000 degrees outside and when I'm at work and I'm hot and I'm in my uniform, I don't like to eat a heavy lunch. So this is this looks pretty good and um, I can't wait to try it. We also picked up uh, some Laughing Cow because my daughter wanted crackers so she saw this cheese, she saw a commercial for this cheese that you could actually spread the Laughing Cow and we got the light because it's actually really, it's only 30 calories per wedge and you can have five Ritz crackers for 80 calories. So it's nice as a light lunch or a snack or something like that. So we picked up the Laughing Cow cheese. Um, also with our crackers, I when I get home from work, it's like I get out at 7.15, by the time I get home, it's, it's 7.30, take a shower, it's close to eight o'clock. And I'm starving, but I don't wanna eat a heavy meal. So I do cut up cheese and crackers myself, sometimes as a light meal with a glass of wine. So I wound up getting um, Cabot Three Year Cheddar. And I also got, oh my God, we love Kerrygold butter. And I saw this Kerrygold um, Parmesan. So we figured we would try it because if the butter is divine, the cheese will be divine. So. We picked up these cheese. Last time I was at Costco, I picked up a, uh, I think it was some kind of like Cabot Monterey Jack cheese. It was spicy, but it was delicious. And they had that this time too, but we figured we would try different types of cheese. Um, so we went with that. And I also got, we've been eating pork leg and cheese. So we figured we would try to lighten up our breakfast a little bit and I wound up going with this uncured Canadian bacon. It's 97% fat free. So we picked up this, it's a two pack, and I figured I could throw one in the fridge and one in the freezer. So we're gonna try this for breakfast instead of pork bowl, just to try to lighten our load a little bit. As well as all of that, I picked up some Kirkland brand fabric softener. It's in the, oh, I smell it from the box. It's called Refreshing Scent. There's 250 single sheets in each box and this was like only a few dollars as well. Like I feel like I'm saving some money here. I'm buying in bulk things that I'll actually eat and use. Um, I was talking to my daughter in the store. It's like I feel like sometimes I over 
buy when I'm in there, but I try, like I'm trying to be more selective now and leaving with lesser things and buying the things that I know we're gonna use because there's really two of us here. So the last thing I got was a big box of Ritz crackers. Like Ritz crackers, you can eat them just as a cracker. You could spread things on them. You can eat them with cheese. You could also crush them and use them for breadcrumbs and for toppings on casseroles. So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna go through this big box in no time. That's gonna wrap up my Costco haul, haul for today, <laughs> if I can talk. Um, we're hungry, we're gonna actually put all these groceries away and we're gonna make ourselves some lunch. And it's, it's hot out today, but it's sunny. So I might sit outside for a little bit and get some sun so I can have the vitamin D and the immunity to keep staying healthy. So anyway, um, thank you again so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube, <laughs> Instagram, and social media family. I'm hungry, so I'm having a hard time speaking today. Anyway, hope everyone's being safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.